Now, I'm going to ask you guys to close your eyes and go back to the good old days of sound competitions. And you remember the winning formula that was tearing up the circuits. We're talking MB Court, but wait, there's more. MB Court is back with a legend in the original spec Q series. And that's the hot topic today on today's episode. We've got product expert Rob Anderson joining us from MB Court. And we're going to dig right in to see if this new version truly lives up to its predecessor's name. This is CMA Connected, brought to you by SiriusXM, all about MB Quart. And it starts now. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another CMA Connected, brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. I'm asking you to dig deep and go back to the heyday of car audio and competitions. Well, we don't have to live in the past because thanks to MB Court, they're bringing back an oldie but a legend in the Q series speaker. It's going to be our hot topic today as we talk about MB Court in the audiophile space, but there's going to be more to that uh, than meets the eye. So, Rob, can you give us a brief overview of what our con conversation will be about today? Absolutely, Ben. So we here at MB Court, we're excited to reintroduce the Q-Series speakers, but we're going to be going over a lot of things from technology to heritage to the engineering side to the Q-Series signature listening experience. Uh, there's a lot to cover, but it's going to be a very exciting thing to talk about today. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be some great conversation. But first, an opportunity for our partner SiriusXM to remind you dealers out there why you should love it. And we when we come back, we're going back to the future with MB Court. Hey guys, Ricky Lima here from Series 6M. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling Series 6M. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love Series XM for commercial free music. It's a great add on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Series XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability, and its reliability. People love it. Now, I remember in the competition lanes, there was the trio, right? The MB Quart, you know, speakers with the Precision Power Amps and the JL Sobs. And man, that was a trio that was just practically darn near unbeatable. So what happened since then? Well, let's find out. Rob, the history of the MB Court brand is deep in uh, the roots and the, and the evolution of car audio, really. There's been some up and downs. There's been some stuff to clarify. Let's hear it from the source and set the record straight. Talk to us a little bit about the history of MB Court, where we last left it and where it is today. Absolutely, Ben. So um, let's, let's start from the beginning, right? Um, MB Quart, um, microphone builder, Quart, quarter note. Um, so, and, and it's MB Quart, not plural, M not MB Quartz. <laughs> but um, it has this humble and very sophisticated and, and legendary history from its German background in making headsets, microphones, and all the way coming up into the, the mobile audio scene and in specifically the sound quality space and an audiophile listening experience, right? Um, man, many moons ago, the, the, the brand was actually um, acquired by Rockford Fosgate and Rockford had it under its umbrellas for, for a couple of years, you know, um, and operated it as its separate uh, brand, you know, not absorbing it into Rockford, uh, you know, as a brand, but just let it do its own thing. And eventually that that endeavor didn't pan out for Rockford. And the the brand kind of got beat up, maybe, you know, for lack of better words, in the process. You know, it Rockford put its efforts into its own brand, its own um uh efforts on the RF line, you know, right? And kind of MB Court fell on the wayside. And when that happened, Maxonics uh, acquired it. It you know the brand wasn't maybe on say life support, but it definitely 
was a falling from its maybe heritage grace. And, you know, there's a lot of factors of that. But one thing that, that's true that I know that it, it, that we acquired the company and we started to maybe put life back into it. Um, the first half of, of that kind of um, timeline under the Maxonics umbrella was that it was making fairly decent car audio product. You know, nothing of the the heyday of the the lanes and, and the IASCA and the SQ comps and all of that, but it was making a decent consumer product for the, the regular person, right? And as the, the brand under uh, Maxonics' ownership, Court started to evolve. Just like a lot of brands in the space, you know, like like the aforementioned Rockford. But one of the things with MB Court under this new era is that we're not afraid to take it in a different direction that people don't expect. And I mean, man, we were one of the first people to ever install a stereo system in a UTV. I mean, back, God, it had to be almost like 20 years ago or something like that with our Yamaha Rhino um, installation at CES way back when. And and that's we, we kind of knew that we were on to something there when when we did that install. And so we kind of dug dug in and doubled down on that UTV side of things. So the, the thing that the brand MB Court uh, did in the evolution was is really going all in in the UTV and the power sports business. And through our partnerships with uh, Polaris OEM and CF Moto OEM, we started to get this energy, this lifeblood injected mainline right into our veins. And it, we, we, you know, not to say the passion was gone, but we rediscovered a new passion with uh, this new era. And I mean, now it's got to be a decade that we've been truly involved in that space. And We've added team members, we've expanded, we've gone back on the road and really supporting everything through uh, involved in the community, right? Going riding, checking out those events. So we had all this energy and we were having these amazing conversations with the consumers, with dealers, with distributors, with everyone about MB Court on this UTV side of things. You know, a common... Uh, conversation would go something like this. It'd be like, oh, MB Court, I know you guys. I used to run your stuff back in the day in my, you know, Honda Del Sol uh, back in Iaska days. Like it, it was a, it's a regular conversation that still even happens to this day. Um, we just wrapped up SEMA. I, I had a couple of those conversations. And so we hear the, we heard these amazing uh, uh, stories of old and, and kind of, where we were, our legacy was as a brand. And so we took that motivation that we've had from the UTV side of things and we just stoked it and, and made a bigger fire on the mobile side of things. So we, we wanted to maybe, you know, hush the naysayers or uh, say that MB Court isn't what it used to be. No, we, we aren't what it, we used to be. We're better. You know, we, we've progressed in this power sports space, but how can we answer the mobile side of things? So that that kind of organic interactions is what sparked a whole um, company initiative on the product development side of things, um, introducing a full line a, of, you know, value to medium level to ultra premium level, um, speakers just from the regular consumer line of, of mobile audio from MB Court. But then we needed a, a subwoofer that could really perform and get a, a, an audio file sound out of it. And so our reference RW1 series woofers is arguably one of the best woofers that we've ever produced as a company throughout all of the company's histories back when it was only the German made brand. Um, and then we need an amplifier to power that. So our reference RA1 amplifiers paired perfect with that. I'm like, well, we need to go back to the roots. We we have to go back to the roots. And so we brought in, you know, our MB Court Q series speakers. That it was on our mind. We we love this product. We have old ones. 
lying around in the office. You know, it, it's it's something we never wanted to get rid of, right? The, this is the classic line of, of key right here. So naturally, we needed to go back and reassess things. So we wanted to bring the production back to the original factory in Germany. We wanted to main, make it German-made, sound quality, um, where it was over-engineered and the materials are the highest quality materials. So that that way that the story and that the listening experience is everything you remember back in the lanes of the competitions to today. And I think we did a pretty excellent job with that. And that's something that uh, is a point of pride of us is that we're injecting the momentum we've had with UTV back into our mobile side of the business. Indeed, Rob, I must agree with you. This is quite the story. And honestly, this is a great story because like so many things, if you've been following mobile audio, well, then that is the new term, mobile audio, then you know that the, the, the business has gone in many different directions. So I just want to reflect on a couple of things you said there. Number one, and Maxonics took the MB Quart brand and took it to new places, right? And, and and let's be honest, you guys have one of the best offerings right now in that space and are very, very motivated to continue developing in that space. And it's interesting to hear the conversations that you've had because I think everybody's had these conversations like what happened to MB Quart and those great, you know, quality speakers that we all remember. So to see it kind of come back together for me is an indicator of where our industry is heading. We're talking about audiophile and does MB Court belong in this space? Man, with those speakers, 100%. I don't even think that's an arguable point to even have at this point. What we want to know now is when you say these are the OG speakers, these are the same spec, I need to dig into that a little bit more and question that because, you know, times change, factories change, sources change. I want, for the record, I want you to compare directly right here, right now, this new Q series speaker compared to the old one, as you've seen, you just demoed some there. Let's speak to that. Absolutely, Ben. So let's answer those questions. So the the thing for us is that we took and looked at all the original uh, MB Court Q-Series, and we reverse engineered it, right? And if you look, I mean, it's very similar baskets. The um, the materials, the sourcing of of those materials maybe finding them in, not in the same sources from the original but like making sure that it's a titanium dome tweeter right it's still the same formula it's still the the same progressive dyes that make sure that you know the shape of the the tweeter is the consistent and the same the off access phase lens those things even down to the crossover network this all should look very similar to everyone because it's basically the same product, you know? It's made in Germany in the same original factory. It's it's something that is a point of pride for us. If it wasn't broke, we don't need to fix it. Everything is just really a, a cosmetic upgrade. All right, Rob, thanks for clarifying those details. But let's, let's take a second and talk about this factory situation. So I might understand that the factory that originally made these legendary MB Court speakers from back in the day continued you know, business, and now we, you, you've you circled around and, and somehow came back to that exact same factory, because really that's what, that's the story here. You know, is MB Court making a copy and of the original, or is it actually the original? Absolutely, Ben. So yeah, we've gone and, and reached back out to that original factory team, and we are in partnership with them for this line of, of speakers. This is exclusive for us, but we're it's not a knockoff it's not uh you know a off the shelf uh in in some other country this is a german made mb court speaker from that original factory yes some things on the cosmetic sides have changed maybe the sourcing of some of the product has been different but it's still that original factory and us the new era of mb court engineering team design team sales and, and marketing team that's backing behind this project so it's definitely not a knockoff in my opinion it is the next evolution of uh the mb court q series okay i think we deserve to get into the specs now um of course you've mentioned other products which we will get into but let's get into this q series of speakers right now what is the offering exactly what is the breakout what is included all those juicy details let's get into it right now of course so let's start with 
just the overall queue experience, right? We 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 want to set the stage for an amazing audio experience, but how about just from the consumer standpoint or or the dealer standpoint? Um, when you place your order and when you receive the product, the MB Court Q series has always been known for its kind of unique packaging. And my team, very specifically, uh, and I'm very proud of my team for this, we've developed a great packaging and unboxing experience to let you know that you've made the right purchase um, by selecting the Ambicore Q series. So an ultra sleek and sexy uh, aluminum case, you know, like a like a um, like you won like a game show <laughs> with a bunch of money inside of it. But uh, here you're getting a, an amazing sound quality <laughs> instead of money. Um, but you have you start this unboxing experience and then you quickly realize that the product and the design and the effort is is just as equally as matches kind of the the experience that you of opening the product. So let's talk about some of those things. So the Q um, mid base, right? The Q mid base. We have an ultra sleek um, grill and flush mount ring, so it's easy to install. Um, and we have it so that it could fit in most factory locations without any need of modification, right? Uh, an aluminum frame where this is going to help with heat, uh, dissipating heat and giving you overall rigidity over the whole structure of the speaker and um, giving it a performance because of that rigidity, right? Um, we could talk about the spider where the woven fiber cotton blend spider is going to stabilize the cone and the voice coil giving uh, during all of its kind of um, musical situations, right? Um, we could talk about the motor itself, right? So, it, like I said, it's very similar to the original um, kind of uh, frame design from the original series, right? Um, it's a die cast aluminum basket, and the motor itself is a solid neodymium magnet with a low carbon steel uh, containment cap. So this is the strongest magnet that we could toss in here. And uh, it, it it focuses all the energy around the voice coil, giving you better performance, right? Um, let's make our way up through the, the um, mid base and let's talk about the surround and the cone material, right? Um, it, the cone material is a lightweight mica blend, um, poly blend, for strength, superior frequency reproduction, and durability. That means that the mid-bass uh, frequencies remain very musical without distortion, and it could be caused by, uh, that is normally caused by cone flexing, right? So this is a nice, um, durable cone material. Um, with this design and the geometry, it's specifically engineered for the best mid-bass performance and uh, off-access performance as well. Um, so that's kind of like the mid base in, in a quick nutshell. So the Q series, the QSE component uh, system is a two way external audiophile Q control crossover network, um, which guides the, you know, the frequencies from the amplifier to each driver, you know, the speakers, the, the mid base and the tweeter. The system is designed with tight tolerance components with low loss polypropylene film caps and air round coils uh, for superb sound quality, 1% um, tolerance metal film resistors, which reduces phase shift for better staging and imaging, right? Um, let's talk about the rear um, cast aluminum frame. So the big thing about performance sound quality is that we, you know, heat happens with this product. So we wanna be able to remove the heat from the system so that you could have stable thermal levels and, and that's ultimately gonna give you better performance. So we have a heavy, heavy duty grade uh, cast aluminum frame. And then ultimately, like I'm just really excited about how cool and, and sexy this uh, crossover looks. I do not hide these behind my uh, door card. These are uh, front row and center uh, in my install, my personal vehicle, where I have them right by my amp racks so that everyone can see them because these things uh, look as good as they perform. Um, and that's the, the big thing about that is it's just having that balanced temperature technology, right? 
Um, yeah, that's the the crossover. Let's move on to the big boy, the Mac Daddy, and, and the smallest uh, of key of this recipe, which is the MB Court Legendary. The Legendary. It's back. The Q Tweeter. So this is a one inch military A spec titanium dome tweeter with a butyl rubble surround in a cast aluminum housing, um, which obviously we've, uh, we've talked about on the crossover. It's it's designed to specifically dissipate heat for peak performance. The tweeter material itself is stamped in a nine step progressive die process. Uh, this process gives it its overall shape and form and, and that because it's a nine step, it, it's consistent, right? That's what we want when we're doing any type of manufacturing. That's why partnering with uh, the German made factory, the MB Court factory was a big deal for us. The phase lens on here, it's specifically designed for uh, off access performance to give you the best staging and imaging for uh, your system. And it is an overall just like sleek package. It's clean. It's no nonsense, and it's high performance sound quality. I know, I know a lot of you guys out there are loving the active systems, and I'm sure these Q series will perform awesome in an active setup. But, Rob, I got to tell you, those are pretty sexy crossovers. So, absolutely want to, you know, boost those up a little bit. They're pretty hardcore. Um, you know, you, you made reference to rounding out the whole system. You have different offerings uh, currently available from the MP Court lineup. And I did want to spend a little bit of time for people to understand and dealers to understand more so that this is not a one trick pony. MP Court is a full line offering product, not only in power sports, but certainly for car audio as well. So you made reference to, well, reference subwoofers as well as reference amplifiers. I want to give you the opportunity to kind of speak to those products and show how well balanced a system could be top to bottom with MP Court. Exactly, Ben. So even in my personal ride, in my personal Crosstrek, uh, my install, we wanted to pair the MB Court Q speakers with uh, a, obviously a good performing subwoofer that fills out the low end and then an amplifier that could power everything of amplifier series. So um, we have our MB Court RW1 reference series subwoofers. This subwoofer line is arguably the best subwoofer line we've ever made. Um, I personally love one, the look of the product, the performance of the product. I actually only have a, uh, a six uh, inch version of this subwoofer in my uh, system. And one of the funny uh, conversations like we talked about before that all these cool kind of conversations is I've, I've used on my vehicle during our demos in our booths at these shows, specifically like SEMA. And one of the funny things that always gets brought up is like, man, there's only a six inch sub powering the system and he's only got one. This thing sounds awesome. It's the reference series lines of woofer comes in six inch, eight inch, 10 inch and 12 inch. But it, there's performance for every listening type. Me personally, I like nice, tight and punchy uh, bass. And so that's why I went with the, the six inch option because I didn't even want to sacrifice even storage area too. These are something that could fit in a, a nice, ported small ported box so um the reference series woofers are absolutely something that needs to be paired with uh the q series speakers because it just it just totally fills in that lower end uh, of the sound uh, frequency uh, range but then let's talk about how do we power both the speakers and the subwoofers well we have our full line of reference ra1 series of amplifiers one these complement both the woofer and the QSE Q series speakers um, with its ultra sleek MB Court like patented uh, sleek design. So it's not going to be something that you put in your uh, system you're going to want to hide. You're going to want to show this off because it is a sexy, sexy looking amplifier line. It features our top mounted control panels um, so that you can adjust and really tune and dial in your uh, system with ease opposed to, you know, cranking your head and getting uh, on the side of an end panel there. Um, it has a nice illuminated uh, logo badge where you can actually flip it regardless of where you um, put it in your uh, vehicle. But that that line with its monoblock amplifiers, its four channel, two channel and even five channel offerings um, is something that can easily be paired with the Q series speakers and the RW1 reference series subwoofers. 
and really total uh, build a total package for say a dealer, a consumer, and just an overall sound quality and audiophile fan. All right, Rob, great job kind of rounding out the offering available right now for any serious audiophile type listener to build a system top to bottom with MB Quart. And I want to circle back to the, the, the story here, which is, of course, the Q series. And I can't help but ask, you know, I know that's new. I know the feedback has been phenomenal. Where do you see this heading? Is this a departure into another direction? Is this the beginning of something? Or is this kind of like a one-off project? Help us understand a little bit about direction when it comes to this top-of-the-line resurrection of the Q series. Well, it's definitely not a one-off product from us. So one thing that we've always pushed, and like I've mentioned before, is this excitement in our internal team, our engineering team, our design team, our sales teams, our marketing team is that we're bringing this level of sophistication and sound experience in every project that we do. Um, and the one thing that it should be on, you know, the consumer's minds and even the dealer's minds is that we're not tone deaf to you. We listen to you, we hear those conversations, we're a part of those conversations, and we will actually act upon those conversations, right? So this, this is it's almost like a testament of saying that we are community driven, we are community enthusiasts ourselves and that we're not going anywhere. And this is just the beginning, you know, um, maybe uh, the, the, I can't wait to talk about what we have planned this next year. And uh, I'm excited to get more of these CMA lives out because there's some exciting new lines of product that right now I I'm NDA out of my mind. <laughs> I can't even talk about them, but it's definitely not a one off process. MB Court is here. We never left. And we're definitely going to keep pushing the bar. Well, Rob, as ND8 out as you are, you can count on CMA to be there when the news breaks and we can present these exciting brand new products when they happen. Um, I want to point out a big shout out to Rob Anderson for joining us for today's show. Now, if you're interested in finding out any more details of the Q series or any of the other products we talked about on today's show, make sure you head over to the official website that we'll put on the screen right here. Now, in my closing comments, I mean... Who can't rejoice the fact that a legendary product such as the Q-Series MB Court speakers is back, but it's back in the right way. Has MB Court been top of the line since the heyday? No, it hasn't. And Rob was the first one to explain the storyline, and we do appreciate that. I think the takeaway here, though, is to appreciate the evolution of this brand, the efforts and the groundbreaking type of products they've developed in another space to keep that momentum going and then to keep the conversation relevant to be able to act on it and react and bring back something that the people are asking for, which is now the new series of Q series speakers. MB Court is a brand that means a lot to many people and has a rich history. Did it have a little bit of a dark period? Yeah, maybe you could say that. But I can tell you right here, right now, as we end in 2023, look out. MB Court is on the hunt for your business. They're coming to you with some incredible product. They are innovating. They're pushing the bar, as Rob said. And can you deny that those new Q series speakers look incredible? I just can't wait to hear them for myself. On that note, thanks for tuning in to another CMA Connected brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.